All right, here is a Galeon Kruger. It is a 1001 RB. I thought we had a problem on here, and I kept going, where is this short happening? Well, there's three coils in here. You plug it in, there's no current drawn until you plug in the second the secondaries into the board. And uh, that's because <clears throat> there's a short that's precisely between the two coils. <laughs> and there's the fire. You see the smoke where it happened there. It crashed into that screw that's on this separator here, this shield that shields the front board from the transformer flux that's escaping. Okay, well, <clears throat> Galen Kruger will give us a discount. We talked to him and I said, no change in the $178 price, sorry. And then I told him, I'm going to have to do a video and expose that you guys are releasing products that have the bolt too loose and or they didn't put enough of a cup on the washer and or they should have put a donut in there to space it to keep it from sliding over and crashing into that screw. They said, no, we've never seen this problem before. So I'm like, okay, well, you left the screw too loose then probably because otherwise you would have seen this a lot. If, if this is a thing that happens when you tighten that screw down normally, after all, it's a nylon washer, uh, a washer uh, tension uh, thing there. It's got nylon in there to make it so the threads don't slip. <clears throat> so I would have to assume that they left it too loose and the thing, you know, crashed into the front as a result of that. Okay, and so continuing, the bottom line is they told me uh, after I explained, I, as an engineer, if I did something like this on somebody's product uh, and left them uh, with a gig that they blew because the thing didn't work, I would have to replace the transformer for them and not charge them a ridiculous price for it. Well, they gave me the 20% discount and said, well, after I explained all this, she just reiterated that's $140, and I just hung up on her. I, like, this is so sad. Uh, American companies, I mean, we used to make a product that had more integrity. We said, cheap this junk, cheap that junk. Well, if we have something where we foul up, we, we need to take pride in it and just, you know, fix it is my opinion on it. Even if it's out of warranty or whatever, a couple years old thing should not um, be an issue. You can still get the part for it. Probably cost them what 50, 60 bucks on maximum, I would think, from Hong Kong, Keen Ocean. Anyway, um, but it's just this is a terrible thing. They left this within an eighth of an inch. I measured with my caliper, and the diameter of it brings it to where, you know, an eighth inch over, and it's crashing into the thing. That's just too close. And they should have put some kind of metal shield there, or like I said, a donut to just rigorously. And that's what I'm going to do here. I've got a donut. Ah, donut. And I do not mind if I say that I repaired the transformer. I dug in there, and um, that's where the issue used to be. Through there, you can see that I've I've uh, interconnected 12 gauge in there and expanded it just a tiny amount. Now I'm going to put a big cushion under it so it doesn't um, put stress on that. But I also filled it with RV goop, <laughs> which will make a, you know, if you know how RV goop is, uh, fills in all the gaps with this really Im almost impenetrable rubber. <laughs> so it's, it's very good now. And uh, it didn't cost nearly $140 of labor. But um, it wasn't cheap, but I'm giving him a discount because I feel sorry for the guy because it's a $300 amp, and I'm making up for their bad mistake with my own time, as usual, which is why I'm doing a video, in part because it really ticks me off, and I think companies need to be held accountable, and if they will not stand behind their product better than that, we'll let the people see. But also, there's a lot of people with a 1001 RB out there who need to know that if you do not uh, take heed, you put this in a rack and you drop it on the front a few times and it may crash into that, short out your wire, send the high voltage winding right to the chassis. And also uh, in the process possibly short the inner winding and ruin the transformer. If it only shorts the outer winding you could patch that. But um, yeah, the inner one's a little bit of a surgery job. It took a while to, I had to peel the outer layer off, I had to take all this stuff off. That was a pain. I had to slide this, this uh, shield up and then yeah, now it's goop back down there with all this stuff
pegged back in, but it was like, <laughs> and I just tossed a lot of it because it just was too much time and it wasn't needed. So I'm just going to put a bigger cushion underneath it, make a big pad down there. Okay, but anyway, that's the bottom line. Be careful if you have this amp. Watch out for that, and don't even bother calling them unless you want to pay 180 bucks for a transformer. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, signing off here, Sound Doctrine.